Okay, step 14 is our last step we have to do. And the last thing we have to do is clear our uh, text boxes. So if we want to play again, um, we want to go through this again, when we hit the button, the uh, user doesn't have to delete out the text. So it's really easy to reset our text. What we have to do is write a set text and, oops, then we just take our, let's see, our, let's try our plural, plural noun, noun input. Um, we put a comma and then we just put an empty parenthesis there. That tells it to put an empty string. And then we just do this for each one of the inputs we have. And input one, and we're done. Everybody will be nice and cleared out when we want to play again. Now you might have the question, do I have to do these in the order they appear on the screen? The answer is no. Um, you don't, if you, if I did not input two before I did not input one, um, it wouldn't make any difference overall in the program at this point. Sometimes it could make some difference for you, especially if you um, were doing it in some type of order in your program where they were uh, maybe within the same screen that could have some consequences for you, but it is good programming practice to do it in the order in which you are uh, encountering them so that it's nice and neat. Notice I, I named these in the order in which I encountered them. I put them in the, everything's sort of in the same order as I go through here. And, and that just gives me a little bit of a easy way to follow in case I'm debugging. If I'm looking for something, I'm not up and down, back and forth through everything, trying to figure out where I made a mistake. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test this <laughs> and always make sure you test it at every single step. So I'm going to run it again and I'm going to put in, um, again, just my test words. And I'm still using those capitals because I just want to make sure that I'm always testing everything each time. I'm going to hit next. Okay, I hit play again and ah, perfect. Now, even though I hit play again, I, I still do want to try and see if it's going to, maybe I'm going to put some all caps in here. Well, let's try, let's actually put something in this time. Uh, cat, oops, cats, dog, bike, uh, song. about striped sweater for you Spongebob fans and a verb running fun. Okay, so now I'm going to make sure that it's not just storing those variables from before and um, it's not. So I'm going to play again. So now I could play this game as many times as I want and I've created that nice little loop and uh, everything works perfectly and my project's ready to submit. Don't forget to do step 15, which is a response question. Have a nice weekend.